to welcome you to this, our 22nd Hall of Fame induction ceremony for the Athletic Hall of Fame. And the good thing about this tonight, I think, is that we have our student athletes here. I really, I know there's some changes in practices. I want to thank the coaches, but I wanted the student athletes to be here and see these individuals, because this is what you aspire to. It's about the past and in the future, I hope that you aspire to be like these people on this, on this stage. PC2A pole vault champion. When asked his greatest accomplishment, Don candidly replied, living through the 70s, please join me in welcoming our first inductee this evening, All-American and Olympian Don Baird. I uh, was 19 when I jumped on the ship and worked my way to Europe because I wanted to compete in the Olympic Games. And on my way back uh, from Australia to Germany, I actually stopped off here and Ron Ellis convinced me basically to come back and stay and go to school. Great time All-American, Jay Carvalho led Long, Beach State, led Long Beach State to its very first NC2A Division I championship in any sport. Jade's sport was field hockey and was in, she was indeed a dominant force. A key defender in the lineup playing the position of sweeper, Jade became our first four-year letter winner in field hockey at the beach. This is uh, awesome and uh, Red City at the same time. Um, please bear with me. I'm not very good at speeches and big crowds, so I'm going to just read from this if you don't mind. I need glasses because I'm almost 50, so... Simply stated, Dan Bailey was an athletic legend at Long Beach State for 36 remarkable years. At his retirement party at Cerebello's, big as a bear Dan and a rare display of emotion, actually teared up from talking about his career at Long Beach. And just a few short weeks later, some 2,000 people teared up at the pyramid when we came to say goodbye. Indeed, Dan Bailey had touched all of us in many, many ways. To accept this award on his dad's behalf, please join me in welcoming Dan and Kay's son, Joe Bailey. he would allow the rugby players to come into the training room when he wasn't supposed to and he'd, he'd treat them also because he liked all the sports and all the athletes and I think Dr. Tui even had my dad playing rugby I think my dad was 37 but he had him on the 40 and over team because he had the bald head so Taiba also excelled in the classroom as she was named to the Big West All Academic Team four times and graduated from Long Beach State in 2001 with a degree in speech communication. First, let me apologize for not being there tonight as I am playing in a professional league in Japan right now. To Brian and Debbie, um, the cosmos must have been all out of whack when you decided to recruit me. Whatever your reasons were, I thank you. Um, when you first had interest in me, my knowledge of volleyball was limited to standing at the net and blocking the serve. And by the time I finished, I was a starting member of the USA national volleyball team. So I owe big, huge thanks to you. Okay, I gotta compose myself because that was kind of tough. John came to Long Beach State all the way from Wilson High and Long Beach City College. During his three years as 49er, Long Beach State compiled its best three-year record in school history with 25 wins, nine losses, and one tie. first year and uh, Ernie looked around when we'd have our chalk talks before a game and he says I gotta go into a battle with you guys 
<laughs> and he said, hey, and he was laughing. You know, we thought he was kidding. He was serious. <laughs> and he said, are you desperate? And we said, uh, we didn't know what to say. He said, well, you better be desperate because you're not very good. He led the 49ers to five College World Series appearances, won five league championships, and five times was named the league's coach of the year. Five was clearly a lucky number for Pete, exceeded only by the 17 NC2A regional appearances and coaching 86 all-conference selections, 30 all-regional selections, and three all-Americans. He was previously selected into the City of Long Beach Softball Hall of Fame, Century Club Hall of Fame, City of Long Beach Hall of Fame, and Catholic U Organization Hall of Fame. So you guessed it, tonight is Pete's fifth Hall of Fame. Say something special about the committee. I've been to, I've sat at every one of these 22 um, banquets, and, and uh, I know how much work is put into this through the years. Jessica Davidson, Pat West, uh, Eric, and all, all the other people, they have put so much time and effort in, into this into this evening to, to make it right. And, and I just want to tell you people that I do know it goes behind the scenes and there's a lot of work and you're the people in the trenches that, that do so much. And, and I wanted to uh, say thank you, not only tonight, but throughout the years. Let's give them a hand. The two-time first team all Big West conference selection James Cotton ranks sixth all-time with 1,452 career points. As a freshman, James was named Big West Freshman of the Year, and as a sophomore, he led the 49ers to the Big West regular season title. Please welcome back a great three-point shooter, an outstanding athlete, and a very supportive alum, James 100% Cotton. Getting drafted in the call from Coach McDonald and seeing my baby born, and, I mean, this is like right up there. I mean, it's it's a uh, I guess hard work does pay off. Go Beach.